Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, October the 16th, 2018, and this is episode 2878. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to another episode of Morning Manna. And special thanks for all of you who take a moment to share Morning Manna with others. Today's episode is titled, What Does It Matter? Stay tuned. Are you familiar with the term making a mountain out of a (laughs) molehill? It's something that is so easy for us to do. To get upset about something small, something that shouldn't matter a bit. And yet sometimes in our arrogance and in our pride and in our flesh, we just... Can I say it? Just go berserk? Go bonkers? Let me let me give you an example from my own life, all right? I was sitting at the airport, and I was waiting for uh, an Uber or a Lyft ride. Yeah, another little Uber illustration here for you. And uh, I was sitting under a nice shade tree. There was a cool breeze. It's fall here in Virginia. And I was actually kind of taking a little nap, you know, just a power nap. And um, I was awakened by the sound of a jet flying over. And so I looked at my phone and uh, wanted to check to see what was going on. And lo and behold, something was wrong with my phone. Something was wrong with my data. I did a speed test and I only had like... 0.01 megabits of speed. I'm not going to be able to run my Uber and Lyft app. I've got a problem. So I I uninstalled apps. I reinstalled them. I did more speed tests. I was freaking out. You know what the problem was? My plan was limited to 10 gigabytes of data and I had run out. (laughs) <laughs> they had slowed me down to 2G. It was my fault. I should have better monitored my data usage. Well, I've got that fixed now, but I want to tell you something. When that was happening, raka, fraka, saka, maka, you know, I mean, I was just beside myself, you know. I'm going to lose income. Somebody has made a mistake. Something is broken. AT&T LTE is down in Lynchburg. I was frustrated. But you know what? It was my fault. And yet, I let that one little thing matter and rob me of my joy and peace. It's kind of like sitting behind somebody at a traffic light You can tell they're texting on their phone. (laughs) The light turns green and they don't go. Yeah, it's frustrating. But in the grand scheme of things, what does it matter? You're behind that van (laughs) at the McDonald's (laughs) drive-thru. Husband and wife, four kids, and they're trying to figure out their orders. You know, I'm thinking, hey. Let's take the orders by paper, give them to dad before we get to the drive-thru. No, they're just, and the kids are changing their mind and everything. But in the long scheme of things, what does it matter? This idea of what does it matter, W-D-I-M, I I learned from Pastor Ferdigan. I've heard him now twice in this message. He is the guest speaker at Life Church this week and he shared a message called not a hostage and he brought up this point again and it was just as convicting the second time i heard it as the first time i I don't know maybe you're like me you need to hear things more than once but he shared this passage of scripture from philippians chapter 1 and verse 12 
about the Apostle Paul's experience of being imprisoned in Rome. Listen to what he says. Paul writing to the Philippians. Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that what has happened to me has actually served to advance the gospel. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. And because of my chains, most of the brothers and sisters have become confident in the Lord and dare all the more to proclaim the gospel without fear. It is true that some preach Christ out of envy and rivalry, but others out of goodwill. The latter do so out of love, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. The former preach Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely supposing that they can stir up trouble for me while I'm in chains. But what does it matter? (laughs) The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. And because of this, I rejoice. Yes. And I will continue to rejoice. So you're in a Roman prison, chained to a couple Roman guards, a captive audience for you to share the gospel with. And all this is going on. And Paul's observation was, but what does it matter? What is the important thing? What are the important things for you today? Father, help us to focus on what really matters people, relationships. Forgive us, Lord, for our impatience and our anger, our unwarranted frustrations. They rob us of our peace and our joy. Lord, help us to live for others like Jesus did today. In his name we pray. Amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Thanks again for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Whatever your platform you're listening on right now, take a moment and click the share button. Spread the word. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Joy.